Good morning from the Rooster Inn Observatory. Following successful imaging and processing of uh, Jupiter and Saturn over the weekend, I decided to create a tutorial, a how-to video showing step by step how you can capture a video of Stellina and uh, process the images uh, focusing specifically on the larger planets. In order to uh, run Stellina on my Windows laptop, I use uh, BlueStacks. That is a, an Android emulator that uh, allows me to download Singularity and uh, run it uh, without any problem. And this is what uh, BlueStacks looks like. And there's Singularity. If I launch uh, Singularity, BlueStacks allow me to rotate it into uh, landscape mode, which gives me a higher resolution. And uh, beyond opening the Wi Fi settings and connecting to uh, uh, Stellina, then it is simply a matter of uh, selecting which target to go after and going after that target. After uh, successful capture of Jupiter, uh, there is a singularity displaying it on uh, BlueStacks. And the next step for us is to capture a video of uh, of this image. To do so, I'm going to use OBS Studio. OBS Studio is another free piece of software. And uh, having the display in, I can start recording the video of uh, Jupiter. I'm going to record 30 seconds and uh, actually 45 seconds and after i'm done with that recording i'll show you the video in just one second and this is the file that we got from the screen capture come on there it is for some reason it takes a while to display mm -hmm. Let me go back and show you that this is correct all the way from the beginning. Yep, there it is. That's the file we got. Next step for us is to crop it using PIPP to eliminate the wobbling by uh, aligning the pictures. It's the first level of alignment. All right, I'm going to stop this and uh, launch PIPP. There is PIPP, uh, source file, there it is, I can drag it and drop it. There's the source file, 1794 frames to work with. And batch mode, planetary, I leave all the options default. And uh, Make sure it gives me an AVI file output format and then processing, start processing. It should take only a matter of seconds to crop all the frames and line them up without stacking them. Out of the 1794 frames, it will reject any that uh, do not have a well defined planet. It rejected only two. Frames to sky with no planet detected. Two, there is 17, 92. It took 29 seconds, which is not bad. Uh, let me show you the file that has resulted from that.
and there is the file it's the same but cropped and there is the planet next up for us is to stack these there's a lot less wobbling moving around but there is obviously still some wobbling here all right we're going to stop it and the next program that I use is Registax. Registax 6 is a very powerful tool for processing uh, planets. Select and we're going to pick up the, the AVI file off the desktop. There it is. Select it. Open Registax will underscore in green the next step that you have to click to. So it is uh, a very simple, straightforward to use. I'm going to leave everything as default. Set the alignment points. Here they are. Align. It's going to align. There is a progress bar down at the bottom left that you can see what it's doing. And it has finished aligning the 1792. Now it has underlined limit. We click on it. And then stack is the next one we click on. When we're done stacking, now this is where the magic happens. We go to Wavelet. I usually start by uh, looking to the right with the RGB align. Allows me to align red, blue, and green if they are off. Click on Estimate. It tells me that red is off by one pixel in the X position, two pixels in the Y position, and blue is off by one pixel. Fine, thank you. Uh, and then uh, histogram. That sharp drop, I like to eliminate that first part so we can focus on the information contained later on. So you can move that uh, red line here. And there it is. stretch. Now you can align the colors with RGB, balance the colors with auto balance RGB. And this is the picture. Now we go to the left and uh, start by denoising, reduce the noise. Uh, five steps usually, one, two, three, four, five. And then sharpen by five. One, two, three, four, and five. At this point, uh, you can use the wavelet sliders. I like to go all the way up with the first one. Two thirds of the way with the second one. And about halfway with the third one. Here you have the ability to experiment all you want. The first one is uh, fairly fine-tuned in what it does. Uh, you can go all the way down if you want to do more. Uh, but I usually use the first three sliders only at about 100%, uh, two-thirds of the way and one-third of the way. Uh, and uh, do all apply all the steps that have been done. Please notice I'm going to click do all again and see how it was before the wavelet processing and how it became afterwards. Uh, there is a semblance of a big red spot down here. There certainly is one band of clouds and a little bit of a second one. 
and comparing it to where we started, uh, this is tremendous progress. I'm going to leave you here. I will list in the comments all the tools that I use. They're all free software. And please post questions in your comments if you have any question for me. In the meantime, I wish you the best and uh, so long from the Rooster Inn. Thank you.